These are the comprehension questions for the passage, The Power of Magnets. Answer numbers 1 through 8. Base your answers on the article, The Power of Magnets. Number 1. Why does a magnet stick to a refrigerator door? A. Because the door is cold. B. Because the door is sticky. C. Because the door is made of iron. D. Because the door is made of glass. Number two. Why are objects more likely to stick to the ends of a magnet? F. The ends have glue on them. G. The ends are the most powerful. H. The objects are repelled by the ends. I. The magnet is repelled by the objects. Number three. What will happen if you try to put the north poles of two magnets together? A. They will pull apart. B. They will stick together. C. They will create a motor. D. They will create an electromagnet. Number four. What pattern forms when you sprinkle iron filings around a magnet? F. A pattern in the shape of the wire. G. A pattern in the shape of the magnetic field. H. A pattern in the shape of the north pole of the magnet. I. A pattern in the shape of the south pole of the magnet. Number five. What happens to an electromagnet when electricity is turned on in it? A. It becomes a magnet. B. It loses its magnetism. C. It wraps a, a wire around itself. D. The wire around it loses its magnetism. 6. According to the article, when would the reader use an electromagnet? F. Any time electricity was needed. G. If a magnet was needed at night. H. Only if the reader operated a junkyard. I. If the reader wanted to control the magnetic force. Number seven. Why do junkyards use electromagnets? A. To pick up iron filings. B. To pick up pieces of paper. C. To pick up and put down cars. D. To move dirt around the junkyard. Number 8. What did Michael Faraday discover that a magnet force could produce? F. Electricity. G. Iron. H. Lightning. I. Water.